Hello everyone, welcome back to Max Solo Music. It's good to see you again after such a long break. And this is the Quality Control Lab Episode 1. A new series on my channel, which is heavily inspired by detailed guitar reviews I've done earlier. In this series, I'll be performing quality control on guitars. Something similar to what they go through before they leave the factory. Often, budget or specifically very budget guitars don't get enough attention during that period of the life. So let's give it to them and uh, at the same time check some specs and play some tones. And for the first episode we have a Telestyle very affordable guitar by Donner. Donner is a Chinese brand and their products are available in the United States and Europe. In this video we're looking at the DTC100 model or a kit to be exact because it includes some extras. There are multiple instances of this website for different countries and for example in the UK the price of this guitar is 105 UK pounds. For the rest of Europe that will be 130 euros and in the US 141 dollars. In the description to this video I'll give you some links as well as a promo code that is supposed to give you some discount at least until the end of 2021. So check it out! If you're not following me on Instagram yet, I'd really appreciate if you do follow me. I'm not very active there yet, but hopefully will be someday when there is more people. And uh, that is where I, from time to time, post some updates on what's happening here in my lab. I have already unboxed the guitar and all these things were inside the box as well. A gig bag and uh, this. A guitar cable and a strap. Donor instrument cable, guitar strap, and two Allen wrenches. Yeah, I guess that's why they call it a kit, because you kind of have everything you need, which is good for beginners. And I assume people who buy guitars like these are usually beginners. Well, the first question is, is it playable out of the box? Well, after some tuning, yeah, it is. <laughs> the setup is not perfect, the strings are a bit too high, probably higher than uh, what you wanted it to be, and this will need some adjustments, but nevertheless, it is playable out of the box. This looks like a maple neck with a fingerboard of some unknown origin, bolt on construction, four screws and a neck plate. The guitar is made in China. The neck profile, it is very round, feels almost identical to a standard modern C. We might as well check that real quick. Yeah, just as I thought, very similar to the standard Fender C profile. Thicker than the Ibanez Wizard and pretty much identical to the Harley Benton Fusion 2 neck. This is a 12 inch fretboard radius, I believe. Yep. Standard scale, 25 and a half, 22 frets. The frets are kind of small and narrow, definitely not extra jumbo. They are polished up to some degree, but from time to time in some spots you can still get that sandpaper sound, yeah, here for example. But at the same time, no sharp fret ends, and as you can see, someone was very passionate about not leaving any.
I wanted to say the guitar is well balanced, but it kind of has a little bit of a neck dive. Yep, it does. The truss rod adjustment is right here at the headstock and it needs, let me check, yeah, a 4mm Allen wrench, which is included, so we don't need to worry about that. The setup is not perfect, the neck is too straight, it needs a little bit of an up bow. Set and finish, nice and smooth and fast. Speaking of finish issues, I found a tiny little spot right there that looks like a hole, probably not even visible very well on camera. This is a straight headstock, not angled, and therefore this guitar requires two string trees to keep the strings properly angled in the nut. Non-locking tuners, donor branded, no stagger, they're all the same height. The nut looks like plastic to me, and it is perfectly flush with the edge of the neck, which very often is not the case with budget guitars. The string height of the nut is okay, but I can imagine it will go higher when the truss rod is properly set. Moving on to the body. I don't know what tone with this is, but I have reasons to believe this might be popular. Correct me if I'm wrong. A plain, solid body? Nothing out of ordinary. I found one tiny hole in the finish, speaking of the finish issues, but other than that, it's flawless, which is uh, great at this price point. We have a fixed telestyle bridge with six saddles, band steel saddles to be exact, and the screws do stick out a little bit, so watch out for them. The intonation might have been already set at the factory. Mm, probably not. Nah. Definitely not. Oh. Yeah, this will need some adjustments. The strap buttons were a little bit loose, so I had to tighten them, but the output connector is solid, no loose parts here, and this is not the traditional tele style output connector, which is good because this one is compatible with more angle style plugs than the traditional one. Two pickups, tele style single coils, and we know nothing else about them. Traditional tele style controls, a three way switch, volume, and a tone. These are pretty stiff. The switch works, no artifacts or other problems, well, sometimes happens to budget guitars. The same with knobs. Sounds good to me. I wanted to say that the neck pickup could be set a little bit higher, but it actually sounds uh, like they're balanced. Yeah, I guess I can leave them at that height. Donor Telestyle Guitar QC Past. Other than that, if you're looking into buying this guitar, I assume you are a beginner, because otherwise you probably already have a more expensive instrument, and with that in mind, this is a solid choice. Yes, it may need some adjustments, the bridge, the truss rod, the string height, but it is playable out of the box, which is very good. And most importantly, can you make music with it? Oh yeah! Well, that was it for this quick QC check of this Donor Telestyle guitar. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was of any help to you. Check the links below, subscribe if you haven't already. In the comments to this video you may also suggest a new entry for the quality control checklist that I will use in future episodes of the QC Lab. And I hope to see you in one of them someday soon. Hey, you've reached the end of the video. And I really appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed it. 
I actually want to get to know you guys, so before you go, please leave me a comment below, just, you know, say where you're from, what is your favorite guitar or guitar pedal, and how you came across my channel. If you want to support what I do, other than Patreon, there's another easy and free way to do that. Simply show this video to one of your guitar friends who it may be interesting to, and share it, the video, not a friend, in guitar groups and communities on social media. There is never too many views, and that would really help me a lot. And other than that, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video someday soon.